Hi, it's Jay. When I was a kid, my basketball team practiced in the gym at another school. Outside the gym, there was these big signs that said, no peanuts. The sign made it clear that this was not a suggestion. This was a strict rule. No peanuts allowed in this gym. None. Zero. I was confused. What's so bad about peanuts? But later, I found out that there was a reason for this rule. See, the gym at this school was also where kids ate lunch. And some kids at the school were allergic to peanuts. If they accidentally ate peanuts, it could make them very sick. That was the first time I had ever heard of a peanut allergy. But now, as an adult, I know lots of friends and family members who are allergic to peanuts. Someone named Kaysen has a question about this. Let's call Kaysen now. Hi, Jay. Hi, Kaysen. I have a question. Why are some people allergic to peanuts? That's a great question. Millions and millions of people around the world have some kind of peanut allergy. That means that eating food containing peanuts makes them sick, in some cases, very sick. I bet you already know someone who has a peanut allergy. Maybe you know that you are allergic to peanuts yourself. But how does this happen? How could a simple, tiny peanut cause so much trouble for so many people? Stuff enters your body all the time. There's the food you eat, the water you drink, the air you breathe, and so much more. But every once in a while, something enters your body that can harm you, like poison or a germ. When that happens, your body reacts and makes a whole bunch of changes inside you. Sometimes these changes feel bad, like a stomach ache or a runny nose or a bad cough. And it's your body that's making you feel this way. That might be a surprise. Why would your body make you feel sick? Can you think of any way a stomach ache, a runny nose, or a cough might help your body? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, ready? Feeling queasy or sniffly is never fun. But when there's poison or harmful germs in your body, <coughs> big body reactions like these can help. Those reactions can help get harmful stuff out, protect your body, and heal damage. All the parts of your body that work together to protect you from poisons and harmful germs are called your immune system. Sometimes we take medicines to reduce the uncomfortable feelings our immune systems create. But in general, having a strong immune system is a good thing. It keeps you safe. But when it comes to a peanut allergy, well, that's a different situation. Most people can eat peanuts and be totally fine. When they eat peanuts, their immune systems don't react. But for someone who has a peanut allergy, their immune system mistakes peanuts for something harmful, like poison, and the immune system reacts to keep the body safe. But peanuts are not poison. On their own, they're usually harmless. So in this case, the immune system's reaction is the real problem. And for many people with peanut allergies, this reaction is much more dangerous than a stomach ache or a cough. Among other things, it can make a person's throat swell up, making it hard to breathe. When this happens, it's important that the person get medical help right away. You may be wondering, why does this happen to some people and not others? And the truth is, we're not totally sure. Some things like having certain medical conditions make you more likely to develop peanut allergies. Scientists have also discovered that people who are introduced to peanuts at a very young age are less likely to become allergic to peanuts later on. But even so, some people develop a peanut allergy for reasons that are still a mystery to us. It's not fair, but it just happens. Luckily, these days we have treatments that can help a person who is having an allergic reaction get their immune system to calm down. Some people with peanut allergies also take medicine that over time makes their body's reaction to peanuts less intense. 
These are not cures. People with peanut allergies still have to be careful not to come into contact with peanuts and be prepared to treat a reaction if an accident happens. But these treatments help a lot. A person with a peanut allergy can live a totally normal, thriving life. They just can't eat peanuts. So in summary, a peanut allergy is when a person's immune system mistakes peanuts for something that could hurt the body. The immune system starts a big reaction and that makes the person very sick. There's a lot we still don't know about why some people develop a peanut allergy or how to cure it, but scientists have made discoveries that can help prevent and treat big allergic reactions to peanuts. That's a huge step forward. You can help by following rules that help people with peanut allergies steer clear of peanuts. Also, learn as much as you can about our immune systems. The more you know, the better you'll understand what's going on if you or a friend feels sick. Our bodies are made up of incredible, complicated systems that do so many things. And like any incredible, complicated system, our bodies don't always work the way we want them to. So there's so much more to discover about how to help our bodies stay healthy. That's all for this week's question. Thanks for asking, Kaysen. It's time to cast your vote. We picked three questions that we're thinking about answering. When this video's done playing, click on the one you're most excited to see answered. Your vote will help us plan for future mini lessons. There are mysteries all around us. Stay curious and see you next week.